Hi guys, my name is Natalie, and this is the Mid-Year Book Freak Out tag. I was tagged by Joe over at Tiny Teacup, so thank you very much. And I'm also going to track down and find the original video and post it below, as well as a link to Joe's video. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit past mid-year. I'm doing really well on my reading goal, thanks to Booktubeathon and Cramathon, all good stuff. But I do want to do the tag because it's really fun. So first was the best book I've read so far this year, and that is... Excuse my little torn copy, but it's The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. I think that's how you say its name. He's Australian. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed this book. I laughed a lot with it. Um, it was a phenomenal book to read, so I highly recommend. This is definitely my favorite so far this year. Um, next is you've read a sequel, and I have not, like the best sequel you've read so far this year. I haven't read a sequel. But I've read companion novels, so I don't know if they count. Yes, I have a big stack here. And that is um, Between the Lines and Off the Page by uh, Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. Um, I don't know if they count as sequels, but they kind of go together. And I've read both of them this year, so... Woo! And they're both great. Um, new release you want to read, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Aldrich. I really like to read that. I've heard wonderful things about it. I just need to get off my lazy butt and buy it. Um, and then Anticipated Release is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I have that on pre-order. I'm really looking forward to that one coming out. I've heard wonderful things about it. Um, biggest Disappointment, hands down, was To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I, I still have no words for this book that are nice. Except for Kitty. I liked Kitty. Um... <laughs> Biggest surprise was Every Day by David Levithan. Yes, that's how you say it. Thanks, John Green, for teaching me that. David Levithan, it's not Leviathan. Um, so I really enjoyed this book. It was definitely out of my wheelhouse of things to read when I read it. So I definitely, it was a definitely a big surprise of the year. I really liked it. Um, new Favorite new author is definitely Harriet Evans. I can't get enough of Harriet Evans. I have Harry Evans on the shelf to be read, and I also have one on my uh, e-reader. Really excited. Love Harry Evans. Love. <laughs> okay. Then I have new fictional crush, and that is definitely the quintessential Prince, Prince Oliver from these two books. He's just so dreamy. So dreamy. Did a great thing and ran out of room on my camera. So anyway. Um, favorite character has got to be Suze from The Thing About Jellyfish, which was a fantastic book. It's coming out in September. I highly recommend it. Um, and I just really appreciated this character because she was awkward and okay with being awkward and different. And I, I just really appreciated that in such a young character. Uh, because she's 12 or 13, not even. She's in seventh grade however old you are during that time in your life. <laughs> okay, next book I have a book that made me cry, which was The Yellow Birds by Kevin Powers. It's a war book about the Iraq War and two young soldiers in it, and I definitely had my moments reading this book. Um, it was fabulous, but again, I just cried almost the whole time. Okay, next the book that made you happy, and that's Happily Ever After by Harriet Evans. This was the first Harriet Evans book I read, and it just was amazing, and it is amazing, and it just made me very, very, very happy. So, next I have a book to film adaptation, and I haven't seen any yet, or read any yet this year. I mean, I did read Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt, but again, this film didn't come out this year, so I don't really think that counts. Um, Okay, next I have the favorite video I've made on YouTube so far this year. That was definitely my Booktubeathon wrap-ups 1, 2, and 3, like the day 1, 2, and 3 clumpy I did. Because day 3 was a Disney day, and I really loved going to Disney World, and it was just so much fun to film and to put music to, and it was just great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to link it below. Okay, next we have the most beautiful book you purchased so far this year. And that is definitely The Book of Tomorrow by Cecilia Ahern. I really enjoyed this um, copy. It's in a very nice hardback and it's shiny and it has a bookmark in it. And it's just so pretty. I love looking at it. Okay. Finally, I have the book I want to read most this year. 
And let me, I'm surrounded by books. Ah, oh, looking, I was looking, we're looking for Alaska. Ah, oh, cracked myself up. So yes, this is by John Green. I have not read it yet. And I really enjoy watching Vlogbrothers. Uh, so I knew I needed to read more John Green. I really like The Fault in Our Stars. So I really hope to like looking for Alaska. So this is definitely one of the books I need to read this year. So yes, that was my mid-year book freak out tag. If you're planning to do the tag and you or you've already done it, please just link it below for me to watch. I'd love to watch it. Also, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, boop, boop, boop. that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.